Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues. Playing as a certain special nation, that VC nation, Vault City. So, before we begin, like all other campaigns, show you some rules. I'm going to not have historical AI focuses on, and everything is set to default. Just normal stuff, and I do want to let you know, I am playing with the Old World Blues mod compilation 2 in this campaign. Sounds like fun. So... Vault City. Why did I choose Vault City for right now? Well, I like Vault City. Sounds like a cool place. Uh, but they're advanced. That's probably one of the reasons why I chose them. And they have five research slots. That's a lot of research slots. And we also have intelligence stuff we could do, but for most of the campaign here, I'm going to be ignoring intelligence or agency stuff. Just, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we're advanced. I love it, love it, love it. There's no other bus except pre-war medical training. Very cool. Also, let's just go and research some stuff, such as engineering stuff. Now, at the time of this recording, I don't know if this really does anything, so I'm not going to do it. Secret language, encryption stuff, decryption stuff. I want to say it doesn't have any effect on things, but I could be wrong about this, at least at the time of this recording. So I'm going to ignore it. I will get the reinforce rate, though, but Ohm's Law, absolutely necessary. We can wait on that other stuff. Probably work is needed. Oh, we already have a lot of some of this stuff done. Very nice. Uh, organized agriculture. Mm, let's go to talk about land doctrine. So, in this campaign, we're going to be using a lot of robots. Lots and lots of robots, if I can. So, automated warfare, thank you very much. And 10 millimeter pistols. What's down here? Anything interesting? Moles? I could have. I could go down the path to get moles, but that's probably for another campaign. They're okay. I've tried it out a little bit earlier, just they're okay. And I'm going to go ahead and grab... Planes. I'm going to try planes out again. So, let's go the all clear. There are innumerable pieces of misinformation about when the Vault 8 opened. Well, here and now, we put that to rest. Cool. And we start off with a massive army, a single division of the old courtyard, old guard. Ten combat with infantry, which is... Uh... <laughs> that's my best response to that infantry. Oh, Nicholas Wall, so... A lot more attack. I like that. I... I love the attack. Keep it up. And like normal, just build a bunch of civilian uh, factories. Also, I do have the map open. Uh, that's for, mostly for multiplayer, so just keep it closed for now. We, we already know where America is and Canada and Mexico are, I think. Uh, garrisons are set to high. I'm actually going to leave reinforcements to middle and operations to middle if I ever use those. For now, though, let's train some of these guys because they're not great, but right now they have 30 soft attack and 15 armor. Our infantry, our security team, has 30 soft attack, no armor. 12 and a half breakthrough. Which is less than that robots. You need 75 robots. And the thing about robots now, they only need 15 manpower, whereas security teams, they need more than 100 for, for you know, 5 battalions versus 3 battalions, of course. But it's so much less manpower now that robots, I think, are going to become much, much more useful. Oh, what am I doing? I am going to go ahead and. We will go to war with. Uh, is this Pale Folk? No, that's Cyclops Tribes. Cyclops Tribes. Also, I want to make sure we're making guns. Yeah, guns are nice, but have you ever had Protectrons? Yeah, those are pretty nice as well. Pretty awesome. And we're going to make a lot of Protectrons. A ton of them. Now, our, my goal is to take out a good chunk of the Wasteland. I don't know how, how much of the Wasteland I'm going to take out, but a good chunk of the Wasteland. And core all the territory. Or at least as much as I can. But we have all, the all clear. There is a great deal of debate as to exactly when we first left Vault 8, but surely as a leader of Vault City, you have access to this information. How long did our ancestors wait for the all clear. 70 years, would you get manpower and infrastructure? 100 for a little bit more manpower, or a little bit less actually. Two infrastructure and more pr production efficiency growth, or 120 years, holy cow. You get only 400 manpower, and you get one infrastructure and production efficiency growth plus 10%. Well, growth is nice, but eventually growth stops when you hit your cap, and yeah, you can produce more. I'm thinking more short, ter short term right now, so I'm gonna go with Vault City actually, partially because Let's see, resource-wise, they're a capital. If we get more infrastructure here, we should be able to get a little bit more resources. There you go, a little bit more resources, even though we probably don't even need it. But anyways, deal with the criminals. Vault City is a utopia unrivaled in the wasteland. Such a place undoubtedly attracts unfavorable people. Ain't that right? So, we're making a couple of things here. Actually, we need 75 support robots, and right now we're making about two and a half a week, which isn't bad, especially in the... Or, 
early game to a crime epidemic. When our ancestors emerged from their underground home and built our glorious city with their gex, the surviving vestiges of man were drawn to its brilliance. With them came thieves, bruisers, drug dealers, and all other sorts of riffraff. With crime on the rise, how did we ever survive? Now, this is kind of important because it could set things up for the future for us. Well, it doesn't play out who we elect, but whatever. So, we have servitude, more stability, more support, which is always nice. Enslave criminals for use as labor. Mmm, I love slavery. 5% stability goes down. 5% construction speed, which is okay. You know, it's only 5%. Give them mandatory military service. Which I really like. 2% more recruitable population. That sounds really, really good. And give them the death penalty, which I think is awesome. Minus 40% damage to garrisons. With what garrisons do nowadays, 40%. That's a lot. Now, I guess it's a good time for me to talk about what I'm going to do. So, actually, we can't do that. Because we have no occupied territory. So, it's either mil mandatory military service or give them the death penalty. My goal is to go from outsider volunteers to outsider battalions because even though it increases resist resistance target you get a ton of compliance with this you, just tons of compliance with this stuff you get a little bit a little bit and then a ton of compliance every day yeah your resistance get hit or your garrisons get hit quite a bit i'm not exactly sure which one is better for two percent more recruitable population since our population will be growing all the time or Damage to garrisons. So, I'm going to attempt to go with give them the death penalty. Death to criminals. So, security, armaments. The defense of vault city is an important topic at every governmental meeting and amounts to a sizable portion of our budget. Absolutely. Absolutely. We get about 1.28 political power a day, which is pretty good. 95% stability does help you with that. Let's go ahead and disable a backstory decisions. Oh. Yep, there goes Olympus Tribe. Security, armaments. So the defense of our... Utopia must never cease, as we are a beacon of culture and technology. When Vault Security took stock of the contents of the armories, what did they find? Firearms. You get three security teams. It's pretty good. And you get some cult pistols, so ballistic pistols. Lasers for basic energy weaponry. And two laser security teams. Or robots. A hundred units of Vault City commercial protectrons. And you get resources. I like aluminum. Wait, is that aluminum or composite materials? That's composite materials, yeah. I'll do that because we're going with robots. Now, I have done it with other nations before, or other, you know, units, but whatever. And these are only six combat with. They're not that strong. But like I said, our goal is to get combat robots, heavy-duty robots eventually. So, Gecko Uprising. The Gecko Uprising blindsided Vault City, for even as the ghouls marched in honor of their rights, an unknown threat emerged from underground, intent on enslaving all when the dust settled. Who controlled Vault City? And this is going to be very, very important for us. Very important. And with that extra stockpile of stuff... That just boosted how many divisions we can field soon. So, after decades of discrimination and violence, the ghouls of Gecko finally had enough. They armed themselves and aimed to take our utopia. The villainous brain pulled the strings from the shadows, causing slight after slight between the two towns. Chief Security uh, Security Chief Wallace suggested that they declare martial law, while First Citizen Lynette urges cool heads and diplomacy. Just as they come to their decision, brains mutant mole rats emerge from their bureaus or burrows under the courtyard. What happened next? Hmm. Now this is important because this is really important because it'll tell us who's going to lead Fault City. Now we can do we have four choices: under the thumb of the mole, where we get mole rats and some cool stuff like population, human breeding programs. That sounds like fun. Mutant supremacy, more land for the brain against New Reno, but that's that's kind of worthless just because we already have the lights went off. New Reno is well over here. So, uh, well, I guess New Reno, Thrad has to be the leader. But we can always manually justify on them, on them anyways. Reinforce the old ways with Lynette, with intellectual support, more research speed. More non-core population, or non-core manpower, and monthly population. And civilian workshops, or military workshops, or arms workshops. Or we do courtyard crackdowns, which gives us Security Chief Wallace, more division tech on defense on core territory. We can build robots or APCs faster, which is cool, or ghoul conferences. Which, we get ghouls, a little bit more, 5,000 manpower, wow. Uh, some more resources, population, stability, war support, or construction speed. So, I'm going to go with Lynette, just because uh, it's probably a little bit more fun. Diplomacy prevailed just because I get an extra research slot and 5% more research speed. If I chose people, we get a little more construction speed, uh, power stations, the beast, if you want to use mole rat to get those in population, martial law, which you get, well, martial law. So, diplomacy prevail prevailed. And I'm immediately going to Vault Tech Calling. For too long we have sat by in our utopian city. For long, for too long we have we waited and rested. Now is the time for action. Expansion. Vault Tech is calling. Look at that. We already have a sixth 
research slot. Beautiful. It's only, it's not even February 2275. So let's go ahead and get some reinforcement because we'll be at war soon enough. Because I want to take out the Cyclops tribes. And we should have at least one more Securitron or Protectron before we get there. So, pretty good. An eye for an eye. 60 days. The Cyclops tribes are warlike and violent in the extreme. A Spartan culture that demands them to go forth and kill beasts and men to prove their place. They have never dared attack the walls of Alt City, but they have been a bane on our outlying communities and trade for as long as we can remember. Let us remember. Let us return the favor. An eye for an eye. And you know what? If they lose their one eye, we still have one spare for us. Ourselves. Very good. And we get explore different vaults. That seems like a lot of fun. We gotta go a lot of places. I gotta go even to 21. New Vegas changes to vault. Ooh, very nice. Fun. Ah, there we go. Another robot. Great. I'm gonna plop you a little closer, actually, to Gecko or something like that. There you go. Now we need 106 robots. So be it. Uh, but we have to wait for that just a little bit longer. Let's go grab some division training time so it goes down a little bit more. That'd be nice. That'd be so nice. And I'm only making infantry equipment for our single infantry division. But I need just more divisions in the field right now. That'd be good. Look at that. With all that extra stability, we get more output. Love it. And production efficiency retention from industry planning. What do we have here? We're about to get paid. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh, contact the boomers. Cool. Now, we can modify our government. What do we want to do? Economic... We only have one economic advisor. Oh, no. That's not good. Vault Tech Engineer. More construction speed, free repair, energy cell per gain. That's not bad. Uh, model Citizen for more stability. Beloved Personality for more population factor and stuff. Experienced Soldier Losses. I like that as well. Major Businesses, of course. Pretty normal stuff. Uh, Chief of the Army. More Organization. Less Training Time. Or more entrenchment speed, defense, max entrenchment, which I might choose this one just because we're going to lose a little bit of defense eventually. Uh, out of supply, supply consumption goes down a little bit, more division, attack, defense. And we have no research advisor. All right, then. I'm going to save my political power maybe just a little bit longer just so we can get a well-equipped army. Oh, wait, we can't because we don't have enough war support yet. Okay, then. Oh, we've got gliders, though. And ohms off. Cool. Mm, okay, let's get motorized flight. Bombers? I could use bombers. Oh, still doing that. Specialized warfare. Good. Resistors? Still quite ahead of time. Go ahead and grab this so for that. And what do we want to do? Outsider volunteers, outsider auxiliaries. I'm going to wait on this just because we get cores. Doing Vault City is really good early on because you get cores on Cyclops tribes, cores on Pale Folk. If you choose to do so, you can also puppet them. I'm not going to puppet here, though. So, instead, construction speed. Division attack. I like the attack. I like the recon, too. I like a lot of things. Stability. Recruitable population factor. Uh, it gives us a little bit of stability, a little bit more war support. So, uh, that's actually kind of nice. Back up to 95%. 17% war support, which isn't much, but whatever. Uh, can we get one more division out? We might be able to plop this division out before uh, we go to war. It only needs 15 more protectrons, which we should get before we go to war. An eye for an eye. Look at all this vault tech symbols. Courtyard inequality. Well, that's not good. Wow, we get 15% more stability. That's... Wow. That's wow. Ah, oh, combat language. Good. That's done. Let's just go ahead and do that, resistors. We have six research slots. It doesn't even matter. Oh, we got paid a little bit. Very nice. We have three slaves. Huh. An eye for an eye. Very good. Let's go ahead and do Cole the Flock next. The warriors of the Pale Folk tribes have been a nightmare of central Nevada for decades, launching nightly raids on caravans and outlying settlements in their endless hunt for supplies. Like raiders, they survive by taking, and like raiders, they should be dealt with swiftly and with extreme violence. Come on, let's get this guy out first, and then we shall head to war. Or, we'll do multi-purpose equipment first. A seed selection, very good, very good. And, we have it. Give them about five days, and then we'll go to war. They have three divisions, which isn't bad. Uh, you know what? Uh, I know I know how we're going to do this. And good enough for now. Let's go, let's go to war. They have up to four divisions, maybe, max? That's fine. No one cares. Uh, come up here. Just cut them off. You guys are going to initiate contact first by battling them. What is this, Pokemon? We're not battling. <laughs> Anyways, Klondex. Go there, there, there. Completely encircle them. And take all of the victory points. That's really what we're here for. Uh, you know what? You guys... Uh, you know what? You cut them off. And then turn around and take Elko. 
Take the capital. Because we need so many Klondikes, we need to beat these people up first. Good. They're cut off. Hmm. Eh, yeah, you might as well help out. Take these guys out. That'll be good. Good. Let them lead them to their own devices. Very good. Oh. Did he leave? I don't like it when people leave and we don't know where they're at. Or he maybe he died. I don't know. Cool. Go to Klondex. Eh, we get 100 more political power. Good race conscription eventually. Not going to do that yet. Mmm. Division training time. I'm going to go ahead and do Wasteland Survival Training. Just because I need less justified war goals times. You'll see that we'll need that. Ah, Followers of the Apocalypse. This happens every game. If you want to read it, you can go ahead. And I'm just going to allow them just because there's no point fighting them. They come anyways and try to get rid of them. It kind of sucks. I've just accepted my fate where they're just an inevitable part of the game that I can't really do very much about, and that's okay. Uh, good. Once we get Klondex, they'll be done. Alright, losses thus far. Zero versus 125. We can work as needed, which is great. Go and do local workspaces because we can. And I'm probably missing something to research already. You never know. Ah, song from the front. Vault City's forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We can play this without the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Now, we get enough war support, or, well, we get enough political power already. We need more war support. Ah, 1%. Ah, I love 1%. Zero losses thus far. Zero losses. Zero losses. Now, that's a nice, that's a good war. I like that casualty rate. That's an, a really great casualty rate. Ah, oh, love it. Cool. Uh, getting paid a little bit more. I do have a thing of vault Tech coffee with me here. Now, actually, I should have researched... Well, I'm already researching things ahead of time. It's only June of 2275, but as you'll notice, we do have resistance growing, which is not very good, and it costs quite a bit of manpower. Wait. Good, what the? Oh, oh, we automatically go to war with them, I guess? Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, let's go do Forced Servitude, because we want to core their state so we don't have to deal with resistance just yet. The Cyclops controlled far more land than one would imagine for a relatively small and warlike community. Their spirit is strong, and must be broken, though. A few generations of Forced Servitude should do just the trick. Cool, and real quick, let's double check your conscripts. We need dogs to garrison areas to lower resistance. We need the doggos. We need lots and lots of dogs. And actually, it's really good that I still have infantry equipment so we can help uh, put down resistance. Which will be good. Uh, tri plane attacker, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go just go for, oh, support equipment to get dogs. Cool. So we're going to do something similar to what we just did. We're just going to go straight down. Cut these front divisions off as much as possible. And then get Bayo Wave. Or Bayo. Wow. Hey, look, you want to move? Nope. Actually, you could probably do that. Go and take up. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. There you go. Let you guys attack, because you have armor on still. Uh, you know what? You attack this way as well. And take the infantry, which I really don't want any losses. Take that, and then take Carlin. I think that's all the divisions they have. They have up to three. They might be hiding someone somewhere else. Losses so far. No one for anybody, which is good. Oh, hold on. I forgot another division here. Cool. The faster you finish them off, the better. Ah, warrior training, very nice, very nice. Still no war support, and that's okay. Uh, I could use scout kits, but I'm going automated warfare. I don't really care. Oh, but what I do eventually want to get APCs, because APCs are pretty good. You can still make them 40 combat with. Of course, they cost more manpower, but uh, they're better than infantry, as far as I know. As far as I know, they are better than infantry, so just kind of go ahead, guys. Did I lose a guy yet? I have lost one person. I am sorry. I've lost one person in this war so far. Um, yeah, okay, right there. Spy Master, Recon. Attack Defense, that's pretty good. Supply Consumption going down, that's pretty good as well. Outsider Battalions, well, we don't really need that yet. Oh, wait, we wanted... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save... Uh, we, we can't... How uh, do I get more war support? Hmm, Seize on Patriotism, no. Actually, whoa. Minus 1.5% weekly war support. That's a change. That's not good. 
Scavenging programs are okay. Hmm. Don't like that. Voltec engineer construction speed. Yeah, we must get more construction speed and get a lot more free repair so that we can rebuild this stuff really quickly. Which honestly, we really don't need right now. But whatever. Automated warfare, great. More division speed, less organization loss when moving, and special force forces capacity multiplier goes down. So we get more breakthrough and organization for these guys. Uh, not as good as our previous war, but whatever, it'll have to do. We're not even done with our focus yet to core this stuff. So we just, we're going to lose quite a bit of manpower first. But we got to wait for doggos, basic tools. Uh, let's grab this. Flexible designs for more energy cell game for energy because we're going to be using a lot of robots trust me a ton of robots oh what's the difference between you two there's no difference why do you have two of these guys um whatever and now we don't know what to do actually it might be good to take out vault uh the yakuza territories hmm oh wait we do have oh vault others oh yeah yeah they're oh they're here you know what? I'll grant you a base, just so that you don't get pissed off. There you go. Hmm, I don't even know if they get pissed off. Now, we have several options. We could take out Eastport, which I'm thinking of, but the 80s might want that territory. I might just take out the Yakuza territories, because who else are they going to go to war with besides me? Let's take them out, just so that they are pacified. And this will be the first group that we will have to manually take out. So let's go ahead and justify them as well. Actually, how strong are they? Oh, they have to 11 divisions. Well, we'll see what happens. We need a little bit more political power before we can do anything. Yamaguchi, which, we don't know which way they're going. I could get intelligence agencies, but eh, it's not really worth it, especially early game. Ugh. Followers establish themselves, that's good. No one cares, though. If they give me more population, it'd be great. I get about three guys a month. Four guys? Four guys a month? Five? Oh, man. There we go. A Shoshone nation supports the rabble. Lose stability. Five slaves ran away. Oh, well. Let's just make sure we all... Have... There you go. Uh, wait, who am I... It should be, yeah. Why can I not... Get rid of one of these? Oh, I'm still... Oh, that's why. There you go. Duh. Um, Occupy Tetris now... I'm going to go ahead and move this back up to sporadic outposts. It's less compliance, but compliance doesn't matter right now. And I use way less garrisons. Just because Pale Folk territory, Cyclops tribes, we're just cored anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I will change that soon. I will change that soon, so. Uh, smoke signals, let's get more reinforcement. rate. That sounds like fun. Build more robots. Build, build, build. And there goes resistance in the Cyclops tribes. Let's do the th same thing immediately with the Pale Folk. They've lived in a series of underground complexes and caverns for the better part of a hundred years and remained elusive as a result. If we're to bring them to heal, we shall need to subjugate them or subjugate these long, unreachable enclaves. And we can core this stuff, which is really helpful. Holy cow, really helpful. Now, we need more divisions to take out the Yakuza territories. They might have anti-tank already. I'm not really sure, though. Really not sure. Uh, Aurora declared war on the Apostles. She declared war on the Western... Oh, that's pretty early, She, Come on. You're gonna kill yourselves off, aren't ya? Aren't ya? We got plenty of infantry equipment. Plenty of support robots. Good stuff. Do we get... We can't do anything there yet. That's okay. Uh, get tire profiles. Very good. Very good. What is the factory production like? Oh, we can make planes, I guess, if we really wanted to. Or, well, we're not gonna. Nor motorcycles for now. Eh, and the she are immediately dead. Good. Good. Hmm. Making just a little bit more every day. Ah, so all good. Support comes down. Let's get some doggos. Now, I've heard that dynamite's pretty worthless at this point. Like, and I'll show you probably not this episode, but the next episode about dynamite. Because they're... Uh, it's, it's not great. It's not great. Let's do plant cultivation next. And then maybe we'll get some more planes. Wait. I don't need to make that right now. Troll War Nuclear War Rib Breakers. That's cool. Just keep making more stuff, guys. How many more? We need 90 robots. Eventually, I do want to make sure that our robot security teams are a little thicker. I'm going to throw on at least two more light robots here. But right now, I need more divisions than anything else. Because we have one hole here. 
and two holes here. So we need at least two divisions before we go to war with the Yakuza territories. Petition or ask his followers for help? Yes, more multi-population sounds nice, but you'd also get a civilian factory out of this, which is important. It's not much, but it's still a civilian factory. Local workspaces, great, more and more and more output. Let's grab some more basic tools for production efficiency cap and growth and docket output. Actually, this might have been a change, it might not have been, but you get plus 7% production efficiency cap, which is a little different than before. But we have just cored both Cyclops tribes and Pale Folk territories, which is awesome. Now, we could get two more civilian workshops, 10 things of water in Carlin, or Paradise Valley of Scrap Metal and Arms Workshops. Those are nice. But I'm going to go with Restore the Council, Reinforce the Old Ways, Research Speed. This stuff is nice. It's not super necessary right now, but what I think is very necessary is the Utopian City, so that you can go to Courtyard Medical Regulation for Institute Courtyard Draft to get more population, but then secure Security Militarization, but most importantly, Automated Security, so you get two more military workshops basically or arms workshops and more production cost or reduction to produce more 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 robots which is very very important so the utopian city Walt city is more than a place it's an idea a post-war utopia rising from the wastes we are above all those around us for a reason and it is for the same reasons that so many flock to this place desperate to get even a smidgen of the glorious technology we have we have at our disposal but that will end today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We took out two enemy nations and core their territory in the very first episode. Anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we take out the Japanese remnants in Old World Blues. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.